we are going to very briefly talk about the lectin activation pathway of complement. So, lectin complement pathway. I think this one is the easiest one to remember because it's very similar, has pretty much the same ending as the alternative pathway. So a key player in the lectin binding pathway is called mannose binding lectin. Mannose binding lectin. Now what is what is that? So a lectin is just something, a molecule that binds a mannose or carbohydrate or carries carries a carb. Now a mannose is a carb on many pathogens. Okay, so one important thing to note is I'll refer to mannose binding lectin as MBL. So MBL does not bind carbs on healthy human cells and tissues. Healthy human cells tissues. Okay, so how does this process work? So I'll do this in maybe a light blue. So we have MBL here. It is going to bind to what is called MASP. Now what is MASP? It is going to act like a convertase. Now if you remember from the alternative complement pathway, convertase is just something like, like C3 convertase which will cut C3 into C3B, and then you have the whole pathway of C3B becoming C3 convertase, and then there's a whole negative or positive feedback of C3 convertase that becomes more C3 convertase and more C3 convertase, and then eventually you have a C3B that combines with the C3 convertase to form C5 convertase. And then after that, you have cleavage of C5 and activation of the membrane attack complex or the MAC attack complex, okay? So that is basically what happens here. Right now we have this MASP, which then acts like a big pair of scissors and cuts C3 into C3A and C3B. Once again, we're interested in this. Then we have our alternative pathway once again. So B comes in, binds. Then you have C3BB. B. Factor D will come and cut this B. D comes and cuts it, and then you have C3, oops, C3, C3, B, 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 which is C3 <laughs> convertase. And then we have the same outcome, eventually leading to MAC attack. Okay, 